Hey, it's LaDonna. Welcome back to Double L Cattle Farming and Hatchery. Thanks so much for being here with us today. I just wanted to share a story with you about one of my seasoned cows that went through a prolapse and then wound up having twins. Um, just like to share some things that we went through with her and we learned and some things we did wrong. So maybe if you ever run into that, um, it might help you as well. So y'all stay tuned. You know, when you own cattle, you have to make a lot of tough decisions at times. Um, you have situations come up and you don't know whether to go with the vet's advice or, you know, just follow your gut. But when Whale started prolapsing, um, we first noticed it. She was just with the herd and she would lay down and I, I could see that it, it was starting. And so we would get her up. And once she would walk around just a little bit, it would go back in. I was put her in a lot so we could watch her closer. And on the advice of the vet, he said that the winter time was the worst for prolapse and it was because of overfeeding hay. So we thought we were doing what, what was best. I was just giving her what little fresh grass there was and a little bit of feed. Um, she was just laying around and you know that it was coming out and she was straining or whatever and so after a couple of weeks of this um, her rectum also started prolapsing now it initially would go back in when I would get her up and walk her around um, of course we called the vet and I talked to actually three different vets most of them were scared to to try to stitch up her rectum because it would cause other issues this you know went on for a couple more days and I, when I went out to check her um, it was bad to you know push it back in and then it just come right back out and later that day when we went back to check her again it was horrible it was like something out of a horror movie i don't really like seeing this kind of stuff so you gotta be tough when you're a cattle farmer right <laughs> he took her to one of the vets that would actually see her he stitched her up and he did a wonderful job now it's the, the tough decision. You know, the vet says you need to get rid of her. You know, if it, his opinion was take her to the sale as soon as they open. Well, she's like one of my best cows and she's always had great calves. So it's so hard to make that decision. Just like, we just want to keep her. We just want to see what's going on. You know, see what we can do. It may not work, but we just decided to take that chance. It was about a month from calving at this point. The vet said if we could get her a few more you know, weeks ahead, then we might could make it. So we just watched her very closely every day. Uh, we put her on fresh grass so that she, you know, could be able to poop easier. So it's rocking on. It's getting closer to time for her to calve, and we're getting very nervous. What do we do? You know, because once she goes into labor, you're supposed to cut the stitch. Well, what if she comes early? We just decided to go ahead with the assistance of the vet and to induce her. We watched her like we stayed up with her all night. As soon as she, you know, got close, we went ahead and cut her stitch. Well, she had a little heifer calf and it weighed 62 pounds. You know, as big as she was, 62 pound calf, I, I, this is not making any sense, you know. So, possibly to have twins, we don't know. We'd love to have an ultrasound machine one day, but um, so we put her up in the barn and just keep checking her every hour. And then we see another water bag. And at first, you know, it's dark and everything. We've been up all night. We're looking at this going, is this her uterus prolapsing or is this a water bag? You know. Um, well, it turned out it was a water bag, and she had an 84-pound bull calf. So, you know, that's 146 pounds of calf inside her. So, we were like, well, no wonder she was, you know, prolapsing. And so, but since we had let it go so far, you know, you can't go back. Once the rectum has prolapsed, there's really not a fix for that. And so... We just kept her on fresh grass and, you know, we would give her some feed. We believe inducing her interfered with her milk coming in like it's supposed to. And with twins, um, she's raised twins before. She always has plenty of milk, but we 
supplemented for the first um, week or so and then they didn't need us anymore so I mean this wound up being a success story it could have easily went the other way we could have had major issues but we're just very thankful that you know that it turned out the way it did one thing to watch for when you have twins is they are bad to get separated and so we like to keep ours in a confined area for at least a week or so um, till they get stronger so at night we would put them up we we would say that we were tucking them in for the night and then we let them out the next morning thanks so much for watching we hope you enjoyed our success story with well and the twins please um, stay tuned for more videos and like share and subscribe see you later Subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a huge